their names again? <laughs> yes, definitely Demaru. Anyway, Harut and Marut. Ah, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Harut and Marut. Ahem. <clears throat> so, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the Sage's plans. And from ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. But no matter how much I may try to ignore or get rid of it, my guilt always comes back. You should follow your heart. You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. The last. Oh, and to a no. spectacular welcome. Even if I do say so myself. Outcast, expelled from the academia. That's the fucking doctor. Although these days they tend to call me the doctor. That son of a bitch. <laughs> Kill him. If you're looking for your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. the world <laughs> my experiment is a success and now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration uh, no what should we do these are all just regular people leave now you need to get out of here but that guy's a Fatui harbinger we can't just leave you here nor can I abandon the people of Samaru I see. You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a powerful mind, you must be the God of Wisdom. Ooh, that motherfucker. If we're gonna kill anybody in this game, we're killing him. Do not tell me that guy gets to live and he gets to become a playable character. No. 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 He does not get to live. Not after what he did to Kole and other people. Fuck that guy. Seriously. I couldn't even hold back in that cutscene. I should have been quiet. This should be far enough. <sighs> Paimon needs to catch her breath first. Uh, is Nahida going to be okay? We only made it out because of her. I'm not sure. That guy was pretty terrifying. Paimon wasn't counting on running into a new harbinger here, let alone such a high-ranking one. That guy was number two. So scary. Mm. He called himself the Doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Sataria did say that someone who once got expelled from the Academia came back recently, and that even the Sages are weary of him. Yep, sounds like she must have been talking about the Doctor. We underestimated the scale of this problem. Yeah, now that the Doctor's in the picture, we're no longer just dealing with the Academia, they're in cahoots with the Fatui. But what are the Fatui after this? Another Gnosis? We need to find a way to reunite with Nahida. Yeah, things would be a lot easier with Nahida's help. That guy could easily rewrite everyone's mind into attacking Nahida. Nahida said we'll meet again outside of the city. But we can't just keep waiting around, right? Let's start our own investigation. Uh, you mean 
Let's go find Tainari. Oh, right! Wasn't he invited by the sages to work on some project when we were staying with him in the Vidya Forest? That has to be the same project. Even though he turned it down at the time, he might still know something. There's no time to lose. Let's go to Gundarvaville. I can't believe they showed that bastard. Oh. I want that guy dead. Don't tell me he's just getting... Oh, they're going to let him live. I tell you, I'm going to check this anyway. I know we didn't even hit that part. Okay. Damn it. That guy needs to die. We, they, oh. There's no way they can let that guy survive. He needs to be taken out. Of all the Fatui Harbingers so far who need to die, he needs to die. Like, I don't care about any Fatui Harbinger. I especially don't care about him. Tried to make me feel bad for what happened to uh, the Senora. I don't care. People, some people still have hope that she'll be back. And you know what? If she comes back, I hope we kill her again. I swear to God, they, if they make the doctor a playable character, try to reform him. Oh, you don't know how fucking pissed off I'll be. Hold it right there. A blonde-haired traveler and a floating fairy. We've got you, all right. Take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. Ah! Are you mercenaries from the Corps of Thirty? Did you come here to arrest us? Corps of Thirty? We're nothing like those government lapdogs who don't even get scraps for their work. We are an elite brigade that commands the highest commission rate in all of Sumeru. We're here on the orders of a client known only as the Outcast. He's got his reaches even far over here already. The Outcast? An Outcast from the Academia? Sounds like the Doctor. But why wouldn't the Doctor just send the Fatui after us? Maybe he's taking advantage of the Academia's resources. Still wasting time on idle chit chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. Get them! Uh, you're up, traveler. Shouldn't she have had her sword? Also, the music right now. Come on now. Following orders. Nice New place. Hearing the nice Whoa, calm perfect. music while that plays. While they're like, oh, we got you now. What? I'm getting close to Adventure Rank 59, and like I said, when I reach Adventure Rank 59, that's when I'm going to be doing my giant Genshin Impact grind to get my main party a second party. Like, my main party, you see my main party, Wumin, Jungling, Fischl, Jean. Like, my main party, they're gonna get fully completed, fully uh, maxed out, gear fully maxed out. Uh, and then a second party will also be fully leveled up, and then fully, uh, geared up. It isn't over yet! Here comes reinforcements! And then, uh, we'll fully geared up as in, like, their main weapon. Not artifacts. Artifacts will take a bit longer to do. I'm just trying to focus on the rubble, but I don't even know who I would have for a second team. Probably max out Venti or something. I'll figure out my second team. That was pretty rough. Is that what elite mercenaries are like? It probably won't be long before we see more of them. Yeah, looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Kainari? Uh, going up against smart people is tough. Anyway, let's keep going. This place is probably already torn apart. Or really, there's nobody here. I mean, there's people here, but nothing to worry about. I 
That squirrel really is still just sitting on that box over there. Oh, there's Kale. We tell Kale about the doctor. Oh god. Oh, it's the traveler in Paimon. What are you two doing back here? Kale, it's nice to see you again. Are you doing all right? I. To be honest, I'm not doing too well. My LSR has been progressing at a faster rate lately. I'm finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. Mm. As a result, Master Tainari is taking me off the patrol schedule. He will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. Oh, Kale! It seems that curing Ermansol is our only chance. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him! Oh, Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. He was headed to Party's DI. Huh? He left? But isn't Tainari always saying that he never wants to leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation! I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his work as a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time though. He's a smart man. He didn't give a reason? No, I only found out that he left through a message he left behind. He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I'd guess he had something urgent to take care of. Hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Amorta Darshan of the Academia, and part of the eye is something like the Amorta's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research at Party's DI. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time, so let's go look for him at Party's DI. Please take care of yourself, Kale. Uh, don't worry, I'm fine. I'm used to living with Elazar by now. If you run into Master Tainari, please send him my regards. Got it. Will do. See you later, Kale. I really hope they don't fucking make Kale see the doctor again. I had already made up my mind, to be honest with you. So I didn't try to hide my current condition. <sighs> don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I swear to god. I mean, if this was Honkai Impact, the doctor probably already would have been here in the midst of tormenting Kale. I'm just waiting for the Honkai Impact story to... not like the story itself. I'm just talking about the Honkai Impact writing, feeling, to be put into Genshin and just... Like, the game itself, not that they're mangas or anything else, actually in the game for most people to see. Because most people are going to see the game, they're not going to look in the mangas and stuff. There's Catherine. Well, I mean Nahida. Wait! Look who it is! Nahida! Thank goodness you're okay! We were so worried about you! You haven't been reprogrammed by the doctor, have you? This was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment! Actually, it's very smart of the Traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, the Doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like you could have known what happened after we split up and I was facing the Doctor by myself. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm can occasionally pass as a patch of sky. Hmm. Paimon feels like only the real Nahida could come up with such an obscure analogy. I believe you. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. Well, we understand that point now. Please, Nahida, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people alright? When you left, I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. Luckily, I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. Whew. What a relief. 
The doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Well, p possess Paimon, then. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then how do we stop him? He's still at the Academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. Her position will only get worse with time. We need to hurry. Ugh. Feels like he's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the Doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatui. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. Actually, Nahida, how did you know we were trying to get to Party's DI? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy, so I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Tainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay. Let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. Alright. You know, there's one very specific thing that I wonder about inside here. Will we see the little robot buddy in here? When we try to speak with Tainari? What is Hy the robot buddy is in here. What is Hypatia doing in here? Traveler? It is you! Ah, it's Hypatia! A long time no see. Didn't expect to run into you here. Ah, what a pleasant surprise! It's so nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? She's a scholar we met in the Avidia Forest. When we last saw each other, she was still training in the... Uh... What's it called? Satyavada life? Oh, I see. That's right. We're old friends. Uh, you've come at just the right time. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Papasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means... Oh, you're not in training anymore? Eh... Even if she's not in training, you can't trust anybody. You can't trust anything. How do we know Hypatia isn't working for somebody else right now that she's already been grabbed? I mean, she's been alone for so long. Someone could have just walked in there and been like, Yep, you're mine now. Time for you to work for me. Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pari Porno Life? <laughs> what do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the Divine. <sighs> You did it? Congratulations! <laughs> You're truly amazing. <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last! When my consciousness made contact with the gods. Ah, uh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience whoa, whoa, that was! Whoa, whoa, uh, the, what are you shaking like that for? That sounds incredible! It's gonna start raining out there. You know something bad's coming. Actually, we're here for Tainari. So, let's chat about this next time. Oh, alright. Actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. Remember? I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the Divine. You... you can do that? Do you believe her, Nahida? I've never heard of anything like that, but... If you want to give it a try, I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit borneo with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. I don't have a good feeling about this. Uh, we're using that incense again? All right now. Hold my hand. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. Well, it's all on you, Nahida, to make sure we don't die. Ready? Why are you looking around like that? What have you done to my robot friend? I 
don't got a good feeling about any of this. Now it that took dog betrayals for me to finally understand. What am I hearing Big Hat the Boy for? Just an elaborate tapestry of lies. He's got her. My fury will never be quelled. Freaking Scar Douche has Hypatia. The first to betray me was a god. My creator. My mother. What do you mean? Valuing strength above all. She saw no worth in me, and I was discarded. What, did you want to be stuck for eternity? The second was a human. My family. My friend. Looked like he had a Kazuha part in his hair. You know, Consumed the red by thing. Fear, he saw me as an abomination. What are you talking about? What did you do? The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. What did he do? Oh, he, oh, oh, what happened? Powerless before his mortality. He broke his promise to me. Well, it's not his fault if he Humans, was murdered. They can't be trusted. And the gods fill me with pure loathing. You fill me with so loathing. So I said good riddance. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> Bro, My you're... chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Bro, then it I... will be empty, a blank slate, mm -hmm. and ready to receive a supreme gnosis, brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> I don't give a shit about your sob story. There is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Your era is coming to an end. Whatever, Scaradouche. Try and give me your sad ass story. What was that? That third part was nothing. Unless you give me more information, all I'm assuming is that poor kid died to sickness or was murdered, and you're like, it's all his fault because he died, so I rid the world of anything. What? I'm not gonna feel any sympathy for him. And oh my god, what is with everyone simping over that dude? He's a fucking lunatic. I'm pretty sure A was like, well, I'm sticking everything here for eternity. And I'm like, you know what, let me just throw him out of here, because he'd live a better life than being stuck forever. So that's his selfish. Well, if he didn't get the reason, I guess I can give him that. He never heard the reason. So he thought he was just abandoned by his mother. I'm so mad right now. You get... You... The game has brought me two of my least favorite characters. Not talking about Paimon. Surprise me she's not my least favorite character. But you show me the doctor? That sick son of a bitch? You show me Scar a douche? This is neither Greater Ward's, the Greater Ward's consciousness, nor King Deshret's consciousness. Did we actually just see the Balladeer's memories? Everything matches what we know about him. But how is he connected to the divine consciousness that Hypatia was talking about? Because Hypatia has probably become his number one fucking girl. N not like that, you know, just number one fan, number one subject, you know? You saw it, right? You felt it, right? Such a majestic god, such a noble will, such sublime emotion. What the hell are you talking about? Alas, shame. If only, if only that which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart. Oh, great and merciful god, please grant me forgiveness and salvation. Are you fucking stupid? What, you saw that? What? Okay. Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri porno life, but rather... Wake up, Hypatia! Ah! So, he's been here much... Okay, so he's been here much longer than, than I thought. He didn't just come up in here and start his job. He's already been here for a while, then. You! Why are you so mean to me? 
Why is everyone hiding from me? I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? No, you uncover the darkness and the light. Papaya. That's how I always thought everything should be. Wait. She's getting wide-eyed, you know what that means. Have I? Already lost my mind? Yes. Go lay down or some shit. God, this week has left me with nothing but annoyance. I mean, seriously. Over the stuff I gotta do this week, and then Genshin has got that event I gotta do the story for. You show me the doctor, a serious asshole I don't like. You show me memories of Scar Douche with with one thing that I absolutely just say is bullshit. I don't even know what the hell went on with his second thing. His third thing is just bullshit. That's just him being I don't know, man. His first thing, I can get that he felt like his mother just abandoned him, even though, you know, he doesn't get the reason. It was for something good, but he didn't understand that. Because he he didn't know it. But still, I don't care for Scaradouche. I don't care if he reforms. I don't like him. This is the same thing with Child. I don't like him. Oh, no. I didn't want to do this quest yet. So that's what she's trapped in. I see. I wish I knew this part was about to happen so I could have done the damn event. This is why I didn't want to do the quest yet. This, the trailer spoiled Catherine getting stabbed and I didn't- I thought it was just Catherine about to die. And that's why I didn't want to do this for so long. I didn't want to see that. Are we in control of our running? What's happening? <sighs> okay, we finally lost him! Are you okay, Nahida? Wait, no. Something feels different. <gasps> You're back! Oh, the Traveler's back? Nahida was controlling your body for a while. It seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. I mean, yeah, it also is just a Catherine puppet, but still, I didn't want to see that happen. After that, Kainari heard the commotion and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. This time, she didn't just transfer her mind into my body. Our minds swap places. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? Wait, then where is Nahida's consciousness? Where is she now? <sighs> I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. Also, while we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness, so I can't journey with you anymore. Damn. But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Uh, oh no! 
Kate is trapped in the sanctuary of Sora's daughter for good this time. Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty big. It's in a code that only we know. We can't let the doctor figure out what we're up to. Oh, that makes sense. Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing. She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Huh. Paimon knows the moon illusions and lies are from the alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. Oh! That makes a lot of sense. Huh. Do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? But she isn't with us anymore. Uh, think we'll be okay? Paimon. You said Sanctuary of Suristana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, the consciousness who was occupying the traveler's body is... the de... Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, so it's really hard for us to explain right now. That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for the complicated nature of the situation, safe to say I have witnessed that for myself. I've spent some time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so... I trust you. Thank you, Tainari! Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the Sages have been working on? Ah, that. 